Welcome to its Rafiq. In this video, I am going to discuss some common mistakes that we do while we are doing practical on HTML and JavaScript. So first of all, many students who are not familiar with computers, they don't know where to write the codes. So it's better to write uh, use Notepad. Many of you might use another editor also like VS Code, Code Block, then uh, many are there. But I will suggest you to use Notepad to write the HTML command. So Notepad here you will get, as I have already told, most of the school use Windows 7. So you will click on Windows icon. After that you will click on all programs. And again you will get here accessories folder. Click here and here you will get Notepad. So open it. So this is the Notepad file. To create the HTML document, just suppose I want to just write hello world. So first line should be always HTML. And when you are writing HTML, please keep in mind don't give any space between the bracket and H. There is no bracket between the bracket and the H. After L, just close the bracket. Then you will write head. And it is not a case sensitive, you can write in capital also, but I will suggest you to write the text in small letters. Then you give the here you can he will write title. Title spelling is T I T L E, not T I double T L E. Title you will write the page name, your page name. After that you will close the title. For closing, bracket and one slash and slash is always uh, this one, slanting one uh, upside down. Remember that many of the student use this one slash. This is wrong. You should give this slash and title for closing. So here remember this one is the on or open tag and this one is the closing tag. And this complete from opening title to closing title it makes an element. Okay. Now you will close head. After closing you will start the body and whatever you write inside body it displays on the browser window so when you are writing javascript code you have to write inside body if you write directly on head you will not get any output on the browser window now body also close then html will be closed done and whatever we write inside body, suppose I want to write hello world, h1, hello world, h1 close. After writing the command, your next step is to save the file. For saving, you will click on the file menu. Here you will get one option, save as. When you click on save as, this window will appear and here .txt will be already typed. So you will cut that part by using backspace key and you will give your file name. Suppose my file. After that don't give any space. Just write full stop then html. If you give any space or suppose you are not giving dot html part then the file will work as a text file. Now save as type. This is not compulsory. Still you can choose all files. After that click, you will have to choose the location where you will save. If you want to save on document folder, you can click on document. If you want to save in desktop, you can click on desktop and you will save the file. After that you will close the document and here you can see my file is appeared on the desktop. To open the file, you will double click on the file. So the output is this one. Now again close the file. Now suppose the, your teacher asks you to show the command, show the code, whatever you wrote. So many of you don't know how to open the file in Notepad. So for that there are two ways. The first way is click on the file, then right click and here you will have one option, open with. You see here if Notepad is available, select Notepad. If it is not available, available you can uh, select choose default program. So I am selecting Notepad the code appear here now the another way the another way is you open the notepad from the computer after that 
here you will have file option click on file open and you go to the desktop and here in text document select all files after that scroll down and search for your file even you can search here it was my file so I am writing my file so this came click here click on the file which you want to open then click on open so the command appear here this way you can open early created file or even you can modify here now one uh, subscriber commented in my previous video that I have to show the indirect, uh, indirect question I think question number is 3 question number 3 create two link pages the first page should have an image of tiger and uh, it must be linked with another page and then second page should have some information about tiger so I am creating the first page here in place of a title your name I will write here tiger and in body in place of hello world I will write here tiger then after just h1 writing uh, tiger inside h1 here we'll create a link in link first we'll write a tag it is anchor then h r e f after that uh, the next page name suppose tiger information so tiger information dot html and quotation close bracket close after that we will have to insert an image so we will write img src equal now here is the main funda the image so first you will see on your desktop if there is any image available as i have right now i don't have any image so i will go to picture folder here i don't have any picture of tiger so right now i am going to insert the koala so we'll click on copy and in desktop we'll paste it because i'm going to save the file in desktop only and i will remember the name of the file k o a l a now here img src i will write k was capital k o a l a while you insert an image it is case sensitive so whatever it's there that one only have to write dot jpg then quotation close after that you will add height write the number whatever you want to give 300 width suppose it's 400 then break it close after that we will close a and we will save the file for saving the file file save as we will give the name as tiger t i g e r dot h t m l so this done now we will save the file now we will open the file and see whether it's work or not so you see the tiger picture appear here and when you hand over to the tiger it's not uh, it's showing only this one selection the cursor changes to selection and when i hand over the mouse pointer to the koala it changes to a small hand means it is a link and if i click link it will say that you are not connected to network or file not found because i have not created the next file tiger information now i have to create another file that file is tiger information so in the same file only what i will do here just in place of tiger he will write tiger information then we will cut the ahref part this part and here we will write tiger is our national animal then whatever you know about tiger you write tiger have six, uh, four legs tiger have a tail whatever after writing the information you will go to again file save as and here now you will give the give the file name is tiger information dot html so you will click on save now you will see whether it's work or not first open tiger file now you, if you click the next file appears and here you will get the tiger information so this way uh, you can solve the indirect question number three of chapter four and i hope uh, you have understood whoever commented in comment section and as i have told most of the most of the children do mistake while they save the file they directly for go to file save as 
and there is a static one random name and click on save so this way it does not work after typing your name you must give without any space .html if you don't give the .html part your file will treat as a text file so please remember it and now uh, we come to javascript whatever we, uh, mistake you do while you are typing javascript first you don't write the javascript command inside head part always write the script command javascript part inside body always write here inside the body and while you are writing javascript the first line that line script type text that line always write in small letter like this script language equals javascript then text equal oh sorry type equal text of the javascript break it close so this way we will write always we will write in small letters we will always write in small letters if you are going to and see while you type you may miss something just i have skipped the t so this type of silly mistake you might also do in examination so for this single mistake the output might not appear then again for closing slash sc r i p t so this remember when uh, your output does not appear you always check the spellings and see the quotation mark whether they are properly closed or not and see after javascript you have to give at least one space don't directly write the type at least give one space and after the equal then quotation mark there is no space if you give still uh, no tension but better don't give any space after type uh, equal type and equal and get quotation mark so this way uh, in javascript uh, i think out of 100 student only one or two student only get the output and 90 percent student will not not get the output and the main reason is some silly mistake like uh, some spellings and the brackets and sometimes cases means capital and small letters so you have to be careful for that and even uh, if your output does not appear in your examination still if your format is correct your teacher will give you the marks for so for that don't be worried and for html also then html and javascript both both the file you will save as dot html we can save the javascript file dot as dot js but uh, as in your book it's not taught so you will save the file as dot html only both the file html and javascript it will store as dot html please remember it and the application which one you will write uh, use to write the command this is notepad and the application where you will open the file that one is browser it can be any browser internet explorer mozilla firefox it's google chrome etc so these are the some mistakes that you do in your practical mainly you don't know how to properly save the file and sometimes you randomly save your file and you might forget where you have saved suppose this one i have already saved now i don't know where i saved for that reason how you'll do you go to start menu and here notepad is there and here you will get one triangle icon and here you will get recent file names so which one you recently saved that file will appear there only you will just click there and you will get that code so this way also you will know okay after that uh, this way you can get your files and for tomorrow I think first you have to write the codes whatever question come in a copy in a answer script, answer script after that you have to go to the computer lab and you have to do that practically and uh, whoever will be there in examination hall that teacher will check your command and when you will finish you will uh, the invisibilitor or the teacher will ask you three four questions sometimes five questions also or any and after that you will ask to leave the examination hall and the marks is totally depend upon the teacher so be good with the teacher don't be rude at him or her he can give you 10 mark also he can give you 20 mark also so it does not matter in practical be good with the teacher and uh, don't be 
don't sit like a dull do something at least if you don't know that particular program at least do another program so at least doing that format so that the teacher know that that student is not directly empty head that he know something about programming or coding my best wishes for tomorrow i have already showed you that uh, in the last question three also did one so you can click like create the uh, links now again i am showing you the code as i have created two pages this is the command of the first page sorry this is the output uh, code is this one open with notepad this is the first page for this command and second page command also i am showing you to do question number 3 you have to create two pages so these are the commands oh sorry second page i have already changed so this is the command of first page in second page just like this only you write just in place of a you write some information about tiger and save the file name as tiger information again once again my best wishes for all of you and please uh, come back to my channel after giving me examination and tell me how your examination was what question you were asked i am waiting for your answers thank you for watching see you in another video till then take care and bye